set and swipe the cell. That is how you start a fire so that you can then go put it out there. Like, I'm a hero, guys. I love it. I, I, it's beautifully done. And I think we all recognize that Deion Sanders is uh, – Opportunistic, and right now I think his his stock seems pretty high. He's turned around the Colorado program mm -hmm. relatively quickly. His son is, um, is a hugely valuable college prospect. I think right now is a time where Deion Sanders maybe you shouldn't be talking about it in front of his AD, but Deion Sanders I'm sure is hey. considering hey. chess and checkers, baby. <laughs> Say it in front of the AD. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Make sure the AD. What? Hears. Exactly. Make sure make Fair sure point. all the boosters hear it. Everybody who's got checkbooks, Jerry hears it. All the NFL yeah. teams here. Yeah. Make sure everybody in the land hears. Uh, yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking. I'm not really taking. I'm not really taking. Let's, <laughs> but, but whatever opportunities out there, I will definitely listen. Uh, no, I think Deion's played it perfect. And the way, it, listen, the way that he has, whether it's Jackson State, Colorado, you name it, what he's done, he has put himself in this position and good on him. I, I think he'd be a great fit in Dallas. I'm not sure if it works out, but but he's positioned himself there nicely. Kmart, I mean, you're obviously on the phone with people every single day. Does the NFL, the larger NFL, expect Dion to be in the NFL next year? They expect him to there's a lot of chatter around him and conversations involving him. Now, whether to just point if it works out, that remains to be seen. I think when a word that we've, talk, we've used with Dion is culture builder, program builder. Mm -hmm. And when you look at a lot of these franchises right now, they are struggling to get it right, whether it's the head coach, the quarterback, or yep. just uh, uh, even in Dallas, where you look at a team where it's like, do these guys have fight? Like, what is hot? Like, it just seems like, where's the physicality? Where's the attitude? Where's the, this is our house. Like, that is what Dion brings. Instant credibility, a guy who played in the NFL and who has shown that he can, he can handle the media spotlight and all that. So I expect him to get interest. It's a matter of how much, you know, Colorado wants him to stay versus how much Dion wants to leave, I think. I am so excited for an NFL-led Deion Sanders football team. And I'm not just saying that, because yeah. when you're coaching in the NFL, the hard part is, as a head coach, multiple players on the team make more money than you. Sure. Mm. Right? So it's not the pecking order that a college has, where it's, hey, I'm the big dog, and if there's any discrepancies, you're gone before I'm gone. But Deion has such a respect. He has such Heck a, yeah. hey, I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. I don't care who it is. That in an NFL locker room, I do think it will bode extremely well, and it'll be a new age way, because... Any room Dion goes into, he's the big dog. It's been that way for 30 to 40 years. Okay, but it, let, me, let me say this about him. Dion to me, so, so Dan Campbell was mocked and ridiculed the way he went into Detroit. Yep. But the way that he has built that team, that old school mentality, yeah. that's Deion Sanders. Don't let the flash fool you, bro. He is right. a stone cold killer. That dude understands. He wanted to embarrass his opponents. He wanted to show everybody he was the best in the world. He doesn't look at coaching any differently. This cat wants to get it wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. He wants to be the absolute best. That is no difference than D'Amico Ryans, the Dan Campbells of the world. And when you talk about culture, he's lived in a locker room and he has lived with the spotlight on him. And he has exceeded expectations at every point in position. That's why you want a guy like that walking in. He can find the right coaches. He can put the right people in the right spots. But at the end of the day, when you want credibility from players, he's earned it, man. And he is a different cat than most people walking in. I love it. I love the, I love the mentality. I, Dion is a number of things. And, and what they add up to is right now the most interesting person in football because he is not only a super high-profile candidate to become an NFL head coach. He is also the father of Shador Sanders, mm -hmm. who is overwhelmingly likely to be the first quarterback drafted in the upcoming draft. And there is a lot of speculation out there. I assume if you're on social media, you're hearing it about whether or not Dion would like would be in a position to try and guide where Shador winds up, which I firmly support. If you have the yeah. opportunity to guide to to choose where you wind up, or maybe to avoid a few places mm -hmm. that you may wind up, then I think that is an outstanding thing. So fully capable. I was going to say, I don't know about I feel like he could fully figure that capable. out. Fully <laughs> capable. Yeah. Yes. I don't yes. know. Maybe I, I don't want to be the wet blanket. I would love to get on board and say he is fully capable. It's a possibility, and I agree with you, Greedy. Um, we've seen so many quarterbacks have their careers ruined. So if you can control where you go to give yourself a chance, yeah. then you should absolutely be able to do it. The problem with it is, I think we talked about this earlier in that, like, uh, 
Eli Manning didn't want to go to one place. Right. He could have gone to any other place. Mm -hmm. The idea that you can pick one place and say that you're going to go there, uh, I think it's a precedent that the NFL owners in general would Mm -hmm. make make very difficult because if they would believe that if Shador does this, then next year first round round number number one overall pick is going to say, I want to pick where I want to go. And I would love a future where that was the possibility, but I don't think Mm -hmm. that the NFL owners. There's one easy way to do it. I mean, the, the, the Raiders could just trade for the number one pick. The Raiders are going sure. to have a very high draft yeah. pick, yeah. most likely. We'll see where it winds up being. Shador Sanders, I mean, I do the, the first draft podcast every week. He, he is projected to go in the top five. Right. If, if you want to make sure you get him, then if you're the Raiders, you just trade with whoever has number one and you get the number one pick, and then th- this is the easy – in that yeah. regard, it becomes pretty easy to and, do. And then you hire his dad to be head coach. Like, That's talk, what I'm saying. <laughs> well, talk about like, all of this is just uh, – nah. I, I mean, Antonio yeah. Pierce is still there, but I do think that's yeah. something that we're discussing, that people are discussing, is them as a package deal, which is hard for me to figure out how I feel about because it's never happened. It's just confusing. I, can, can, I'm going to go on record and say I – Love Deion Sanders as an NFL head coach, yeah. my number one candidate. I love Shador Sanders as an NFL oh, quarterback, however, my number one prospect. No. I don't want them together. No chance. I do not want to be in no a locker chance, room uh. where the head coach and the quarterback yeah. are son and father. No. I can't say what I want to say in the locker room. There's going to be – this is grown men. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough situation. Yeah. Huh. I'm just talking from my own perspective. 100%. Would not want that. 100%. I had not agree. thought of that, to be honest with you. That's interesting. Go ahead, Cameron. From the, from the uh, Dion being able to, like, guide Shador somewhere, Bryce Young – Justin Fields, Caleb Williams, what we're seeing so far in his career, every young Jets quarterback, every quarterback <laughs> that's come through the Bears. Like, this yeah. is this is the issue. Like, because a lot of these franchises ruin these kids, the mm-hmm. early developmental years in the NFL, they ruin it. So if you have the power to do so, Deion Sanders would be, it'd be crazy for him not to exercise that kind of power. No, I, I that go, I agree with for sure. I want to go back to what Hawk was talking about. Real about quick, the, yeah. yeah, so I, I, th- I understand what you're saying, yeah. but there's always somebody in the locker room that you know you can't talk in front of. Like, yeah. it's just, yeah. this is not a new thing. But no. the trust between a coach and a quarterback is important. Important. And that's one thing that you don't have to worry about. Yeah. That's already built.